Oh yeah. Tailspin. Oh we yo. Tailspin. <laughs> All right. But, okay. <laughs> Spin it. Let's begin it. Friends for life through thick and thin. That's another tailspin. Speaking of friends, we got Sean and Melissa Conley from Free Lunch. Hello. As Hi. well as Ray Hanna, a new guest. I'm not saying that correctly. How would I say that? Rahena. Rahena. Rihanna. I'm. <laughs> Once it's again, okay. I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and Enrique is off again. You know, I think Enrique is actually dying now of dysentery. Oh. It's I thought it was pretty feline rough. AIDS. <laughs> well, it's something different every time. Yeah. <laughs> he joined the Peace Corps. Yeah, he joined the Peace Corps. Uh, so he's helping, he's helping out the world. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, he basically gave his life. Yeah. He's not going to live much longer. No. So, anyway. <laughs> now we're just kidding. He, off being stupid and he never gets tired of it, so we're just going to go on with that. <laughs> uh, today we're doing uh, Tailspin, issue, uh, I guess it's a miniseries, issue three of four. So, and this is uh, yours, Melissa? This is my comic. All right, uh, give us a little overview of uh, it. I don't remember it, but I can tell you that Tailspin was a lovely story. <laughs> <laughs> it was a cartoon from the 90s, and it was basically all the Jungle Book characters kind of mixed into a 1940s airplane world. How much coke do you think the uh, producers of the show did when they came up with the idea? <laughs> It's, it seems like the Rocketeer with animals. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I didn't actually watch the show much, to be honest. I, I watched DuckTales, but I did not watch Tailspin. Yeah, I watched it. I watched Tailspin. I liked it better than Chippendale Rescue Rangers, but it wasn't as good as DuckTales. Mm -hmm. It was just kind of, it kind of replaced DuckTales, didn't it, after a while? Uh, no, they were always on at the same time. Really? Even du I thought DuckTales went off the air eventually. Well, they all did. Yeah. But it was a very long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> I think what happened is they did the DuckTales, and then they added Chip and Jill Rescue Rangers, and then Tailspin, and then eventually those three kind of got old, and they added in Darkwing Duck. Yeah. And Darkwing then they Duck. had a Goof Troop. And no. they had Quack Pack a little bit there. Wow, I don't know what the hell Quack Pack is. You it was Donald Duck one. and his three nephews, but they were older. Oh, like yeah, and they were awful. Huey, uh, Dewey, yeah, weren't they like surfers and just yeah, unlikable skateboarding. and skateboarding. <laughs> but that's <coughs> Huey, Dewey, and Louie in a nutshell. Was Darkwing Duck a Disney thing? Yes. Huh. Didn't yeah, it has Launchpad. Launchpad McQuack was in... And they totally changed his personality, yeah. too. Like, huh. he went from, like, fun and adventurous to just dumb. No, well, he was always dumb. Oh, okay. <laughs> was he, did he Again, it was a long a time ago. Robot. No, that's Gizmo Duck. They're not the same. No, Gizmo Duck. His, his <laughs> civilian identity is Fenton Crackshell, you ass. <laughs> <laughs> or Quackshell or something, I don't know. I'm learning things. <laughs> Remember, he'd say blather and blather skites and turn into gizmo. Duck. He was the worst. It, no, he wasn't the worst character, but like when he came on, I kind of quit watching the show. <laughs> he was okay. There was the other new character who's like so bad, no one remembers him, but uh, Bubba, oh, the cave yeah. duck. He yeah, was Bubba fucking awful. Yeah, he was in the uh, video game, the NES game. Mm -hmm. Was he really? Yeah, yeah he you was. could rescue him. Yeah, but Gizmo Duck wasn't. Gizmo Even Duck was in the video on, game. Oh, was he? Oh. Yeah. You had to get the remote control, and he would, he'd come and like knock down a wall or something. Oh. I don't remember what he did, but he did do something. Yeah, he did something. But. And you really liked the the Disney comics in general. Yeah. It's just this was the one you found. It was the only one I could find. Did you get yourself that nifty collector's edition <laughs> that they are <laughs> talking in there? Yeah, there's an ad. Only 10,000 available. <coughs> are you one of the 10,000? Like no, I'm not. First issues packaged to last. Jeez. It's the first issues of all the... You'd still have them now because they're packaged to last. Yeah. yeah. You know what? That could have... That could have paid for your college. Yeah. I could have. That and Wolverine that 50. That and your Wolverine 50. <laughs> <laughs> and some of the ad, there's a wolf, there's a white thing 
comic. I enjoy <laughs> reading the, the, I just perused the New Year's resolutions of the staff of, of this fine comic, and one of them was to be more innovative and exciting, which I'm thinking with Tailspin, yeah. maybe that's a little lofty. <laughs> Quite possibly. <laughs> Uh, the production artist wants to win the lottery. I don't think they like. <laughs> I don't think they like question. working. <laughs> I'm gonna win the lottery. I'm gonna get out of this place. I'm so fucking tired of drawing Baloo. <laughs> God. Another one to take a real vacation. <laughs> so I, I think we got disgruntled people. That's like a people. Little sounds like people who worked right at. There. Sounds like the people who worked at our news station. Yeah. Which will not be named. <laughs> uh, you also worked there, didn't you? Yes. Uh, you worked there before I did. Hey, so. you. You worked there, yes. Yeah. Um, for a long time, and I was very disgruntled, but uh, well, we lunch gave were. me a good outlet for that. Yeah. So. That's good. Stealing things, breaking. <laughs> when, <No>, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. When I left another repeatable TV station in town, I might have stolen every one of that certain station's signature logo off yes. of the walls. Whichever <laughs> town this may be. Yes. Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe not. And then when we got hired back on. Maybe. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> they came back. Hey. Can we have our stuff back? <laughs> we'll hire you if you give us our stuff back. Oh, let me go back. Yeah, Look. There you go. Uh, there's an ad right here for, for an NES game called Mickey Mouse Capade. I have that game. I have it as yeah, well. I that game is so awful. <laughs> I mean, that is the worst. We ought to do a Let's Play of that. Yeah. Like, that is the worst fucking game. I think I made it to the tree level, and that's as far as I ever got. Mini, if you tried jumping over uh, the water in the water level, and Mickey would make it onto the other, pl you know, it's just like Mario, jump from one platform to the other. Minnie Mickey would me. make it, but Minnie, who was his shadow, if she didn't make it, she'd fall into the water. And, and Mickey, would jump Mickey yeah, and... Mickey would, uh, out of heartbreak, kill himself <laughs> and jump into the water after her. I do remember that. Awful. I do it's bringing back that. And none of the music or anything, none of the monsters seemed like anything out of Disney, out of Mickey. It was like a video game was made and they decided to brand it <laughs> yeah. afterwards as a Disney, uh, kind of like Super Mario Brothers 2. Yeah. Where it was Donkey yeah. Man or something, I don't know. Doki what. Doki Panic. That's it. <laughs> Capcom, not your finest hour. Yeah. <laughs> want to let you guys know, I mean... Yes, I do like Resident Evil 4, but uh, fuck you about Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Doki Doki. Doki Doki Panic. Which I'm pretty sure Doki Doki means, like, crazy. Yeah, so it just means crazy, crazy panic. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I like, there's a group called Baby Metal, and they've got a song called Doki Doki Morning, and it's about a crazy morning. I wish I never knew that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, it's funny. I was playing Mario 2. My friend and I wanted to, on the Super Mario All-Stars version, my friend and I wanted to play it, and we were playing it. After we got to World 3, World 3-3, three, three, we just kind of realized, man, this game is so fucking boring. Like, that game, <laughs> that one kind of sucks. Like... <laughs> We're just climbing shit and throwing shit, and it's like, God damn, this is a boring-ass game. It was an odd game. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not bad, it's just... Right, yeah. Uh, and did you ever have relatives come visit for Christmas, and then they'd be like, hey, let's sit down and like watch me beat this game? And yeah. that was how you spent your entire yeah. Christmas break, was watching them beat Mario 2 or something, you know? Like Actually, I think I was about. the relative that showed the others how to beat <laughs> Mario 2. I was the only child. <laughs> Lucky you. So I didn't, uh, no. it was just me. So I was like, no, you, if you use Princess, you can float over the waterfall, <laughs> and then you can find, and then you throw a bomb, and you find the fucking shortcut. <laughs> now, I remember one time I went to my cousin's house in Iowa, and he showed me that, and by this point I was like, this was like, I've already had All-Stars for two years, plus I had the original one for years, and he showed me that, and I was like, 
big fucking whoop. I've known about this for four years, you asshole. Like, ooh, wow, way to show off. Iowa, off. they're just really not uh, Don't ever go to Iowa. <laughs> you think Kansas is I learned is bad? don't use the rest stops in Iowa. Why? What's wrong? <laughs> like, I have yet to find a clean rest stop in Iowa. Really? And we went. We stopped at the Field of Dreams, thinking like you know some tourist attraction would have better facilities. They were porta potties. Huh. Oh. I kid you not. So I'm sorry for any of your Iowa listeners. <laughs> don't worry, we don't have. I, there's, <laughs> we, there is not we, one. We only have like two campuses. There's, the there was like one they that don't you know how thought. To use the internet, so <laughs> yeah. it's okay. Yeah, it's like, they're... do you wash your hands? Because I feel like I might acquire more germs just from washing my hands in yeah. Iowa. So, just a little aside there on that. I did not know that. Now you know. A little history be- beside, behind uh, Tailspin. Uh, this was originally meant to be a spin-off of DuckTales, at least according to Wikipedia, which, uh, as all journalists do, I use that too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I use that. Uh, but um, it was supposed to be a, tail- a spin-off of Tailspin with Launchpad instead of Baloo. Why they changed it into the most bizarre premise of all time, I don't know, but... I just, I never watched it, so I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) I'm in over my... It was kind of, imagine uh, John Goodman as Baloo. (laughs) What? He was? No, just, I mean, that's in my mind. Well, like, like if you, if I'm giving him a recap of how to experience it without actually watching it, and then like Donnie. let's say Rebecca is like any 1990s an annoying character, you know, Elaine Seinfeld. I don't know someone. No, that, Rebecca would be the mom from Home Improvement. Someone that, yeah, someone that's a little bit more like obnoxious and I don't know. Did they have famous voice actors? No. No. No, no one. No names. No names. It's, it was just not. It was Disney. Yeah, right, right. It was not good. I think I think Ninja Turtles were on about the same time, and so I'd listen to the song and groove out to the beginning, and then Switch. promptly change the channel. It was kind of boring. Like it wasn't. It wasn't the best show. I, I liked it. Like I said, I like it better than Chippendale Rescue Rangers. This one was kind of boring compared to Ducktales. Disney did have good theme songs, though. Mm-hmm. They, 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 they well, they had, they had good movie. animation, too. Yeah. Good animation, which, because we talked about it last time, yeah. before DuckTales, we had, like, He-Man and Jim, or Jim, or whatever. Well, what we, I think what we need to address here, though, is that all the uh, male characters are not wearing pants. They yes. have hat wear, and they have shirts. shirts. Yes. And, um... Which is the... <laughs> You know, sometimes, like, like, is he wearing a jacket or hoodie? Or No, maybe his hat turned backwards. I don't know. But the woman has got a full, like, those high-waisted mom jeans. <laughs> now, I need to flip through to confirm, like, any other characters that might be showing oh, up here. But the, the daughter has a skirt. Yeah. So, you know, but what's wait. that saying about but this? In the 90s, you know, we're still... Bear character does have pants. All right, so if you're a woman, if you're evil... You've got Your pants. genitalia is Makes just sense. not. Wait, this Made evil character also has pants. And he's got boots on. But maybe that's because you can't he's really wear boots pirate. without pants. Because that would look weird. <laughs> but Rebecca, is that her name, Rebecca? Yes. She doesn't have any footwear on. So if if they still had the, um, what was it, the tail mail or the spin mail or the mail spin? The, or, the mail spin. I would have asked that about. Why the discrepancy? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I want to point out, Disney's really good about putting one hot female cartoon, <laughs> yes, are. cartoon character in every... So, I don't know, this is Rebecca. Say what you will about yeah. Rebecca and her mom jeans, but she's pretty hot. And I... Goof Troop, there was the neighbor's mother. What was that, Pete's? Pete's wife. wife. Uh, Apparently was... Gadget. Hot. G- Gadget? Gadget from Chippendale. Oh, yeah, Gadget looked like... Um, Laura Dern. <laughs> uh, what did DuckTales have? She, they didn't have anyone. They just had Mrs. Beakley. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they had Daisy Duck, but she was no, the same age um, as Huey Dewey. Now, Daisy Duck does not no, wear pants. No, you're thinking of Webby. Webby. Webbergale. Uh, Webbergale. Webbergale. Right. I forgot. Huh. 
I had forgotten that too. Occasionally they had Uncle Scrooge's own flame, Goldie. <laughs> Uncle Scrooge. And the whole idea that You really need to like one of these like if I think it was on Cracked, they showed like the most fucked up like Uncle Scrooge comic ever where Uncle Scrooge like meets Goldie and they get in a big fight, but like they pretty much they pretty much uh imply that people hear them fighting, but they pretty much imply that they weren't fighting, they were f- <laughs> <laughs> Huh. I didn't see that on Cracked. I know that they did one about the fact that uh, the only reason he's really rich is because of a lucky dime. Yeah. Yeah. And so there's no... Whoever owned that dime would be rich. That's right. It's a really weird That's right. Well, He's not even a good businessman. Right, it's he? not that he... Because what does he invest his money in? He builds a fucking giant money bin. He inspired all of us as children, though, that the pinnacle of reaching wealth is, like, to be able to swim. To swim, swim in your money. money. Yeah. That's right. So That's right. I... Keep that close to my heart. And now I don't like touching money because it's dirty. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's filthy. Maybe your it's money. It's been all over places. I, I put know. it in a big old money <laughs> bathtub and take a bath in it. Oh. I touch money and I have to wash my hands. Just even, sometimes I don't pick up a penny because I don't want to bother with having to wash my hands afterwards. <laughs> if I see it on the ground. Like when I was a kid, I'd pick it up. But now I might walk over it. <laughs> okay. I, I think that also has to do with the value of a penny. <laughs> well, no good luck for you. So uh, that, we're we're out of time for my therapy. <laughs> 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 Thanks for. <laughs> but um. Uh, but there are uh, there were some letters. Oh yes, this is. Uh, I I really like, I really like what the uh, name of their. Uh, what they call their letter page, mail spin. Mm-hmm. So let's begin. Um, <laughs> meat spin. <laughs> meat spin. <laughs> Don't look that up on the internet, kids. All right, let's begin. <laughs> Hi, since we're actually on time with this issue. Oh wait, this, that's from the dude. Never mind. <laughs> Dear mail spin, I just bought your first issue of Tailspin and would like to say how much I enjoyed it. The artwork is very true to. to... <laughs> Excuse me, I'm a little drunk is very true to the televised tailspin plunder and lightning special and extremely well done. <laughs> I don't like how this guy knows the name of the episode. I don't think it's very a... much like plunder and lightning. I don't think that's a kid. It's not this a kid. Is like, it's not... They're just writing their own mail, just like Marvel did. It's like a 40 year old guy. <laughs> I am an ardent fan of Disney animation and it's high quality. Personally, I prefer Baloo and his show and settle and setting rather than the original Jungle Book movie. Okay, this is totally the staff right now. <laughs> As his personality is more well rounded. Louie and Sheer Khan of the same movie are better suited in this show as well. My brother and I watch the series whenever it airs. My here 45 in year old brother and I. <laughs> My brother and I watch this show all the time. In Canada. Mm. <laughs> Rebecca is a wonderful foil for Baloo. And I hope I, and I hope to see a lot of the scenes of wait, hold on. And I hope to see a lot of scenes of those two in particular. <laughs> Molly, I guess that's the girl. Molly behaves like a real lovable child oh, okay. rather than an obnoxious overly cute brat kit is also a good match for Baloo. i realize that this is a limited series but i still yeah. would ho- see exactly like who would write into a, a limited, limited series. series but um after the first issue yeah <laughs> but i still hope that you would continue the series into further stories Rebecca is my favorite character, Aww. and I would miss her. Aww. And that's from Mitchell Bubian from Burnaby, British Columbia, Canada. Whoa, good guess there, yeah. So, nice. Okay. And they, oh. don't, they don't respond, so okay, we'll just continue. Because <laughs> he was the one that wrote it. <laughs> he was the penciler for Rebecca, and that's why yeah. he really was... I really like Rebecca. <laughs> She reminds me of my mother. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Dear Mailspin. And they, they even know what it's yeah. called. 
<laughs> this is the biggest bullshit ever. The first issue of Tailspin, because it wouldn't have been Mailspin in the first issue. The first issue of Tailspin was great. The artwork was amazing and the color was stunning. I watched the Tailspin TV show every day. My favorite character is Don... Carnegie? Don Carnage. Oh yeah? Is yes. it spelled like Carnage? <laughs> Car yes. Carnage. So it's spelled exactly like Carnage. Carnage. <laughs> uh, which brings me to a couple of questions about him. Number one, what kind of accent does Don Carnage have? Number two, is Carnage a wolf? Ernesto Estrada, Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a Detroit name, too. <laughs> to answer your question, Ernesto, darned if we know, wait, number one, darned if we know sounds vaguely Middle European, though. Number two, yep. Very good, very good. Okay, it's our turn. Oh, well, watch it. Oh, no, <clears throat> it yes. Dear male spin, in the first issue, you told us to write and tell you what we think about Tailspin. Oh. Well, I think it's pretty darn good. Its color is awesome and the graphics are great. <laughs> awesome with an O. Awesome. <laughs> I think it's a good idea to start with an adventure from the TV show. But your next adventure should be an original, not something from the show. Can't wait till the next issue. Eddie Seedor, Bridgeport, Connecticut. They didn't respond didn't to that respond one. To that one either. I wonder, like, we need a girl to write into this. Cause I just don't know about how many guys, I mean, oh, next one's girl, um, are reading this. Let's... Okay. Dear You're Mailspin, all... your Tailspin comic is great. I have been collecting Disney comics and really enjoying them. Is, did you write this, Melissa? No, I didn't. I waited patiently on the Tailspin comic to come out. The pictures and coloring are great. That's too many greats. <laughs> but the cover is boring. Ooh. I always look and notice the cover of any kind of book. It's too realistic. Will the cover look? Will the covers look like that every month? Tasha <sighs> Osborne, Snohomish, Washington. And they replied, "Sorry, you don't like our covers, Tasha. But yours is the first negative comment we've heard about our covers." <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All defensive from the beginning. Okay. When we decided to tar start Tailspin with a limited series, we also decided to design the covers to achieve a special unified look. So yes, all four covers will be in the same general style. <laughs> Hope they grow on you. <laughs> You're screwed. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> we were gonna no way, I can't say this without laughing. Frankly, we're really proud of them. <laughs> We were going to do something different, but after you made a point about it, they're all looking the same. Man, just, they get a lot more butt hurt than the Marvel guys do. Yeah. There's one letter left. All right. Oh, did go, I read yes, it? Yes, go for it. Go for it. All right, last one. Okay. Dear Tail Spinners, I didn't think he knew that they were called Mail Spin. Uh, just wanted to write and let you know I picked up your first issue of Tail Spin. Four copies and rushed home to read through it. <laughs> I must say that you have stayed faithful to the movie and dialogue, artwork, artwork and story. Congratulations. I do realize that some of the characters haven't made their debut yet in the comic, but I would still like to cast my vote for the one I enjoy watching the most. That character is Rebecca Cunningham. Mm -hmm. oh. Truly a Beasts for the eyes. Oh, that's yeah. creepy. Oh, that's I weird. Like that. I bird. can't <laughs> wait to see how well you folks at Disney Comics render her. Uh-uh, no. Uh, Alan oh. H. Fishbeck, Florissant, Missouri. And they have no reply to that. Did he write, did he write from the prison? <laughs> <laughs> got I mean, I can understand, like, let's talk about mm -hmm. April O'Neil or something, okay? And she'd wear that little... Like in that some, little yellow jumpsuit. Yeah, and Ooh. some of them. Another one, she was dressed even better than that. And she had a lot of boobs and everything hanging out. Oh, all right, that's fine. She's female. But once you start thinking that any sort of animal put in women's clothing is attractive. It's pretty weird. I just, Especially. I mean, what is, what's that from well, a guy's point of view? Because well, from a girl's point of view, like seeing um, what's his name, Carnage, in a double breasted suit on the cover there. I don't find like, ooh, I mean, I like men in double-breasted suits, but that doesn't make me think like, oh, that, that carnage, I mean, oh, I think keep drawing him and render some of that. 
I think you have to be missing a chromosome of some sort in order to find any of these cartoon characters and Tailspin sexually appealing. <laughs> <laughs> probably also like it, it's not normal. They're probably all guys drawing it, too. So they... Well, they could have taken a lot more liberties. I mean, this is a children's comic, but, I mean, she's she's got white hips. She looks like she's wearing some hammer pants with an elastic top, mom jeans. Um, I don't, they could have sexed her up. They and could she, have. She has a little lipstick. The victory rolls for her. All right, hair. that's kind of a pinup. And then the eyelashes. <laughs> yeah, she's got wide hips and a pinup mm. kind of look. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that, but she's a she's a bear. <laughs> she's a bear. That's what's wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know they were bears. Well, I knew <laughs> he bears. was, but I didn't know she was. She's a bear. Well, Kim's welcome bear. to the twenty first century. <laughs> Molly's a bear. I thought she was like a dog or something. <laughs> She's a dog. Ugh. <laughs> oh, Sher Khan has pants. Well, he's a businessman. What? It's kind of hard to do business with He's also evil. Yeah. We decided that evil people and women wear pants. <laughs> yeah. I learned a lot from this comic. Yeah, it's actually a, um, it's quite an exercise in psychology. We still don't even know what happens in the episode. <laughs> <laughs> nope. We want the viewers to, you can track it down and we don't want to give it away. Yeah, it's it's a surprise. Seems pretty simple from the pictures. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was it for the letters. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if there's anything else we can talk about. Um... Um, does anybody really remember this show? The theme song is <laughs> really the only thing I remember. I didn't even remember the theme song until you guys had to pull that up. I remember, like, some stuff. And it talks about, like, Friends for Life, You're Thick and Thin with another tailspin. But I think there's a lot of sexual tension between Baloo and Rebecca oh, going on. Obviously. Oh, obviously. Yes. So, so they're not together? No. 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 no, I'm not even sure who the children belong to. Oh. Um, she, the girl, is her daughter, okay. and no, Kit, not. the kid, the boy, is just an orphan, of orphan. course. Orphan. Okay. And Baloo is the pilot, and Baloo works for Rebecca. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's like Cheers with uh -huh. Rebecca from uh -huh. Cheers. Well, I was going to say, did you guys ever see Wings? It was like yeah. Like yeah. Wings. Yeah. It's like a lot like Wings. Actually, it is a lot. It's yeah. like the same damn show. Yeah. I didn't. Except <laughs> Baloo does it. not have a brother. But he's got a sidekick. Yeah, he's got side a sidekick. <laughs> sidekick and kit. But oh I my think god, this is just wings. Louie and Baloo are the best friends. That Which friends is weird because wasn't Louie was well, a bad that, guy. There on was the that Roy Jungle guy. Book. He was kind of yeah. like the friend yet their antagonist on the you know, other airline. Who? Uh, Roy about right? and Wings. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. I'm sorry. We watched this on the Netflix the other day. I <laughs> fresh in my memory. And the lady Played the cello? She did. Helen, yeah. Helen. Also known as Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Pretty weird. Well, um, we're going to do another episode after this. Uh, the next one we're going to do is going to be uh, Marvel's Star Wars. Uh, so exciting. we'll just uh, see you until then. Um, is there anything you guys want to add? No, I think I'm good. I'll All right. Save it for the next episode. All right, yes. It. Save it for the next one. Yeah. Uh, listen in later. <laughs>